channel thank you so much for being here and watching today's video I'm in a new little setup and I'm hoping it's not gonna be too noisy or windy or anything like that or Rocky is gonna annoy us too much because he is going for it right now he is so so noisy at the moment but it's so hot in my studio I just can't do it I've had to come and sit in my bedroom because it is a sauna down there so I hope that this setup is okay and I hope I hope he's quiet in a minute I think I'm just gonna wait like two minutes Rocky! Hold on one second. Okay, he did <laughs> He is so loud this morning. Okay, I'm just gonna carry on talking. I'm gonna try and like shout over him the best I can and hopefully he'll stop soon. He did just stop for like a second when I looked at him in the eyes. But anyway, in today's video, finally, really excitingly, I'm actually so excited to finally share this because I have been filming these looks for three weeks. It's taken me three weeks to kind of find the time to style this many outfits in one video. I basically love my loafers so much that there's just so many ideas of ways I love styling them moving into autumn and winter that I just wanted to do as many as I can in this video, just as like inspo for any of you guys. If you've bought some or you're looking to like invest in some this season and things like that, then I just kind of wanted to do a big roundup. I have got my loafer styling video from last year, which includes a lot very similar kind of vibe of outfits but a bit more kind of knits and a bit more for colder days so if you want to see more colder days rather than summer to autumn like transitional looks then I'll leave that link down below as well for like extra ideas just in case and it's probably going to be less long than this video because I'm going to try and whiz through these outfits as quick as I can but there is 19 I believe in total <laughs> to chat through but I yeah I just got a little bit carried away with wanting to share as many as I can with you guys and I've had these loafers for a year from H&M and then this year they've brought them back out so they've brought them out with more of like heavy gold chunky details or like the ones I've got which is a little bit of a less kind of intense heavy gold detailing to it and then they've done the plain ones as well so I'll leave my top favorite three that they re bought out this year down below and I find that personally they fit true to size so I go for a size four and in terms of wearing them in I've had so many ideas of like tips of wearing them in because I'm still wearing these in <laughs> it's so annoying because I want to wear them every day in New York but if I'm walking like 20,000 plus steps and things every day then definitely don't want my feet to be ripped to shreds so people have been recommending like using potato peel and like leaving it to soak in the heel of any kind of hard shoes that we have which I thought was something that I might try I'll let you know how it goes but I have been trying sanitary power pads <laughs> in the backs of the heels I've also been trying silicone socks which apparently is really good for like the swelling of your feet so helps with kind of getting your feet in the shoe a bit easier and then also if your feet get hot during the day they don't expand as much which I thought was quite good so I ordered some of those they've been helping and doing two to three hour stints as well so I've been doing two to three hour stints where I've been wearing them and then yeah just been kind of wearing them in like that really and hoping for the best but anyway let's kick start and get straight into outfit number one this for me is like a classic summer to autumn day out city day going shopping going for brunch outfit I find that loafers for me are definitely when I'm kind of out and about a bit more walking around doing a little bit more of my day so shopping days city days out going away if I was going on like a European break and things like that in the autumn months and I definitely take these with me like Paris, Amsterdam, that kind of thing and I tend to wear them if I've got like brunches to lunches and then sometimes like casual dinners as well I feel like they're kind of when I tend to wear them most but with this outfit here I am styling my fate leather jacket with the denim skirt just to kind of show how I use those like black accessories and kind of core cool pieces like a black blazer, black shirt, black fake leather jacket whatever it is just chucked on as that extra layer as it starts to get like a bit cooler I feel like at the moment we're still having really really warm days so definitely something when we do start getting more autumnal days happening but just tying in kind of the black chunky loafers with a kind of core classic jacket that you have in your wardrobe I always find is like a really good way of doing this or even just styling with a black accessory bag so tying in those two accessories together and styling with your favorite pops of color outfit or neutral outfits and things like 
like that but denim skirt styling with little vest tops is one of my go-to's as we kind of come out of summer into autumn I just kind of make these pieces which would be quite summery of like dad sandals and things like that I make them more autumnal and ready for the winter months by styling of like chunky loafers chunky boots and adding on my favorite kind of fake leather or blazer jacket Next up, one of my favourite ways to style loafers is actually with a shirt dress, little mini skirt underneath or cycling shorts just in case I need it, and then a knit vest. I love a knit vest. I, I mean, the ones that I've had, I've actually had for like seven years in my wardrobe and I feel like this might be quite annoying in this video, I should just mention, that all, kind of most of these pieces are pieces I've had for years. I feel like I don't really need to buy anything new this year so I'm gonna link similars down below but I feel like I've kind of got those core cool capsule pieces and I'm just going to be restyling them for you guys so hopefully I can find similars but this vest I've had for a while and I've only managed to find two similars online one on Etsy and one on I think it was Urban Outfitters maybe but I'll link those down below but I'm gutted this hasn't come back out this year because this from Zara I absolutely love but if you've got any knit vests in your wardrobe anything like that whether they're neutrals whether they're pops of colour whether you've got like a bright pink or green one I feel like it's a really fun way of styling loafers with those like oversized shirt dresses and things like that and if you have matching socks you know match it up a little bit it's quite fun it's quite a fun way to kind of style those pieces together and I love pops of colour and I feel like as we move into autumn I sometimes go way more neutral than I really kind of want to which is why I'm in orange today because I like these pops of colour I feel like colour really lifts my mood so I always kind of tie in with my loafers coloured socks coloured bags a coloured lip and potentially one of those like core cool knits that's kind of one of the ways I tend to embed more colour into my autumn wardrobe is knits and tees best way to do it and coloured blazers but that will be in another video but yeah this is just one of my fave ways to do it for every day and be layered up a little bit for those more cooler autumnal days where it's not too cold that we need any layers or anything like that Next up, sharing how I would style like the shirt with a blazer. So very, very similar kind of idea, but going for more neutrals with this outfit. And actually focusing here on the free color rule. So my blazers for me are a big part of my autumn transitional wardrobe. And it's probably my favorite season because of that, because I am a big blazer lover. This one is actually from a charity shop. So I do recommend if you are looking for like an oversized slouchy fit blazer, then really recommend going to your local charity shop and looking in the men's section, because this is from there and I love literally love this one it's probably one of my favorite shapes in my wardrobe other than being quite biased but other than wonder the label and those blazers this is definitely one of my fave shapes and fits but any kind of colored blazer that you have or any kind of oversized like jacket that you love in the autumn months I feel like if you go for more of those neutral tones you can always like brighten up an outfit add a bit more color to an outfit by just adding that extra layer so for me this is just one of the ways I do it sometimes I go really bold and bright with colored greens and oranges and sometimes I just stick for like the sage more muted tones and kind of tie in with those neutral black and white accessories an outfit for me that I actually wore last week when we had a bit of a rainy day because it was still quite humid which was quite nice because I was quite excited to actually wear a little kind of neutral loafer look and this smock dress here I've had for a while but any kind of white dress that you have any kind of little like mini dress that you have black cream all those colors I feel like there's endless ways of styling loafers with them and I personally love doing a loafer outfit with a more like feminine piece so with satin skirts I love kind of like balancing out those more chic pieces with something that's a bit more oversized a bit more slouchy and things like that or a bit more chunky and I feel like it's a really nice way to kind of do more of that street style cool kind of city outfits in the autumn winter months so I do this a lot with my satin skirt with like graphic oversized logo tees massive kind of like fake leather jackets chucked on things like that just to kind of like balance out the outfits and make them feel a little bit more dressed down for every day because you could easily dress up dresses with like wraparound court heels and things like that that go a little bit more dressy for evenings but then dressing down with loafers to kind of style more for every day as well next up mini skirt styling and loafer styling is definitely one of my go-tos and you'll be seeing me wearing lots and lots of loafers and mini skirts over the next coming weeks like I am so excited for autumn styling for this these kind of outfits I love this was actually a rainy day outfit I wore last week because it was still again 
way too humid to have like tights on or anything like that but having that extra layer as a fake leather jacket again like I said is one of my go-to's in the autumn winter months I just find them super super easy to layer with like hoodies knits underneath and things like that and I love adding bits of color with pops of color tea so this striped tea I just love it's long sleeved it adds that kind of nice subtle bit of red into my outfit and I love matching with my accessories or my lipstick so one of the things I do a lot in my wardrobe to elevate my outfits is like get my favorite colored bag my favorite lipstick so I tend to do for date nights a lot which lots of you may have seen a red lip and a red bag I feel like it takes any neutral outfit whether it's cream or black or I'm going for more of those autumnal browns it instantly takes it into date night I don't have to do anything else which I love and I've had my red bag for a while just to kind of have it as that core piece in my wardrobe that I use for date nights which I find really nice so if you have like certain colors in your wardrobe that you love kind of think about what color might work lots of different ways and you might like kind of dressing around more of those date night looks as well because I feel like it's a really cool idea so whether it's like pink bags and a pink lip or more of like a cream neutral bag and you go for more nude lipsticks and things like that I feel like it's just a perfect way to elevate those looks and I just thought it made this outfit a little bit more fun a bit more colorful tying in those red tones to more of a neutral look next up I did want to chuck in an outfit of how I style loafers with jeans so I tend to wear my loafers mainly with like mini skirts fake leather shorts dresses things like that but I do on the odd occasion wear jeans with them and I just wanted to kind of add in an outfit here showing how it looks with jeans or any kind of straight leg jeans you have I love doing it with straight leg jeans probably more than my flared ones but I felt like this outfit for me would be one of those kind of go-to outfits for like a casual evening date night dinner going out with friends going out from lunch and it's like rainy and then you're going out for dinner in the evening or things like that or just going for a day out I feel like it just works and trench coat styling is again one of my faves so any kind of trench coats and loafers together I love doing outfits like this but I just kind of wanted to chuck this in here just for an idea of styling them with jeans in your wardrobe as well because there are endless ways <laughs> to style them another mini skirt and loafer ways to wear this one here for me I kind of want to add in because this is one of my favorite ways to take those summer pieces into autumn so if you've got any of those bright colored like patterned abstract dresses skirts shirts whatever it is style around your neutrals in autumn and winter and I feel like it makes such a fun pop of color autumnal outfit and it just means you can rewear those summer pieces a lot more this for me is one of my favorite summer skirts that I've been wearing endlessly and and I'm excited to wear this in autumn and winter again. I feel like that's one of the best things about those abstract pieces that you're a bit unsure to wear. You can just style with those creams and those browns and those blacks in your wardrobes and dress down those outfits a little bit more. For me, this would definitely be like a London day out, casual meetings, things like that with the blazer because I feel like it just makes it a little bit more smart put together. But if I wanted to kind of make it less tailored, I'd style with like a little fake leather jacket or just like an oversized black shirt chucked on. If I needed a little extra layer or anything like that, but just one of the ways that I always take those pieces that are more summery into autumn. Next up, styling loafers with suit trousers. So another way that I love styling with trousers and I wanted to kind of chuck this in here. This is kind of like an errand running, kind of put together, tailored fit that I'm quite enjoying at the moment. I wore this last week when I was doing like a full day out of running around town, post office, all that kind of stuff. And then I ended up going for brunch and I just love these suit trousers. I love the shape of them, the fit, and I love how with a loafer, it just kind of looks quite cool, looks quite city chic, which I really enjoy. And you could just style this with like an oversized sweatshirt. I always Always love styling more of those tailored pieces with more casual pieces for every day so whether you've got kind of like your favorite blazer and you can then dress it down with even like tracky bottoms on or like leggings and like little kind of crop tops or you can kind of dress down tailored trousers with more like oversized sweatshirts little vest tops things like that oversized like white tees all that kind of stuff I always say oversized or slouchy because I love the fits and shapes of that so <laughs> it doesn't need to be oversized or slouchy fits naturally but I just love styling pieces like that but I feel like it's a nice way to balance out those kind of tailored pieces that you want to style for more every day and I actually do really prefer when you go for more of a straight leg tailored trouser with loafers because it kind of shows off your sock a little bit more however these ones are quite long but I do kind of mix and match and play around with kind of how I'm styling my trousers with them just to kind of show a little bit more of the sock detail because I feel like they're quite chunky so it's quite nice sometimes showing a little bit of ankle or a little bit of the sock that you're wearing and maybe going for a pop of colour sock as well. 
Another little mini skirt outfit, again just showing how I'm tying in the accessories and the colours, so the socks, the bag with the knit vest and kind of just brightening up my wardrobe and just kind of sticking to those neutral kind of classics, so linking in with the loafers with like a black mini skirt, you could do fake leather shorts, little denim shorts, whatever you've kind of got in your wardrobe that is more neutral to kind of work with the loafers and then style around your favourite coloured pieces, so whether it's tees, little vests, anything like that and then again elevating the look with like socks and accessories accessories just to make it a little bit more bright and fun for the autumn months. Like I was saying for kind of a bit more chic feminine pieces styled with more like kind of casual tailored or oversized pieces this is the outfit that I always go for and I love, I love styling my satin skirt like this. I love this jacket. I have had this for years again but I think Oasis have, Oasis? ASOS, <laughs> I always get confused between the two. ASOS have brought out similar, so I will link them down below because I've seen some absolutely stunning ones on the website. And I just love doing looks like this to dress them down a bit more, create more of like an easy chucked on outfit for every day. And the loafers just add a little bit more of an autumnal winter feel to this look. And I like kind of styling more of those slouchy pieces with the loafers for more of a dress down everyday way of wearing it. And again, any more of those like feminine pieces that you have in your wardrobe that you love, whether it's like a satin little dress or things like that, you can easily make a little bit more of a street style look or a bit more of an everyday casual look with like your favorite jacket and loafer styling and like chunky bag and things like that and elevating with like layered jewelry and all that. So yeah, one of my favorite ways to kind of style my satin skirt with the loafers right now, for sure. Next up, a little cord. This little cord is from Wanda the Label, which if you guys don't know or you're new here or anything like that, it's mine and my best friend's clothing brand. And this set is actually probably one of my favorite pieces from the Timeless collection. I know that's very biased of me to say, but we put our love and like, just everything into the whole collection but this set in particular when we were doing it I was like I cannot wait to wear this in autumn it's going to be my absolute go-to and this outfit here I am so excited to just wear on repeat I love a little cord I feel like cord sets like this are going to be very very in this season and there's just lots of different ways you can kind of mix and match a cord which is what I like about having them in my wardrobe and I feel like this is a very cute little way of styling the loafers and tying in the socks with the vest and just having the loafers with like a little black bag to kind of tie in those more neutral black details in the look as well but literally obsessed with the set so so obsessed next up one of my favorite dresses in my wardrobe if you saw my H&M and Zara haul I did actually chuck this outfit in that video but I am obsessed with this knit dress I don't know whether it's actually a dress or a jumper I wasn't really sure but I assume it's a dress because it's quite long I am five foot three for reference but I just love this I want to mention with sizing I have mentioned this down below but I am wearing a medium however I think it fits true to size it's because I bought it in store and they didn't have the option to get the small because it was sold out and I was like oh my god I love it too much to like think about sizing I just want to get it so I went for the medium however I could have gone for the small so I would say it fits overall true to size just for reference as well but I love doing like full neutral outfits with my loafers getting those like favorite black and white striped jumpers or tees and any kind of those neutral pieces that you have and you love just go with loafers if you've got black ones cream ones I just feel like there's endless ways if you have a lot of neutral pieces in your wardrobe that these will go with and yeah I just absolutely love this outfit I think it's one of my favorites in this video for sure next up a little bit more of an evening outfit with loafer styling I kind of wanted to chuck this in here because I wore this for dinner with my family last week and I was like it's a little bit different for me but I've been wanting to wear in my loafers for like two three hours in the evening or in the day and it's quite rare that I'm out for that amount of time so when I went for dinner with my family I was like I'm out for two hours I can definitely wear them so this satin long dress I thought was lovely for the autumn months and then styling with this brown blazer to kind of tie in with the autumnal tones in my wardrobe and things like that and there's some really nice kind of neutral brown details within the dress as well which I love picking up on if you've got any of those like summery ditzy print pieces just kind of tie in little colors with like statement jackets that you have accessories and you can easily take that piece that's quite summery into your autumn wardrobe and winter wardrobe so this is just one of the ways that I take this like summery dress into autumn and then styling with the loafers and tying in with like the black neutral details of the dress and then I actually wanted to kind of bring some color into the look a little bit more and style with a pop of pink coloured bag however you could easily kind of do an accessory kind of tying in combo with a black little shoulder bag as well to kind of match up with the loafers a little bit more but I love this 
Next up, a little day out outfit that I also love wearing. Fake leather shorts for me are some of my absolute faves and I think I get most excited about wearing these ones in the autumn winter months because they are so comfortable and they work so well for every day but then also for date nights. So if you've got any kind of lunches or brunches or going to the theatre and then going out for like a birthday meal or anything like that, you could easily just wear these shorts and keep like a bodysuit in your bag and wear your favourite kind of chunky pair of boots and easily switch out the outfit by putting on that bodysuit putting on a red lip putting on like having a red handbag and anything like that and going from this like day to night kind of outfit which I personally really love about the shorts but adding in a pop of color into this everyday outfit any kind of colored tea that you have like I said colored teas are my absolute go-to in the autumn winter months to add those colors into my looks because I find it quite difficult sometimes so it's one of the ways I consciously am like colored tea colored knit best done <laughs> it's one of the ways to do it and just styling again the loafers tying in with the black shorts and then adding on a trench in any kind of color that you have so I feel like a trench for me is a capsule piece in my autumn wardrobe and winter wardrobe and to be honest all seasons in the UK I feel like I wear it a lot and I feel like it works really well dressed up and dressed down as an extra layer and especially when it gets colder you can add blazers underneath knits underneath anything like that too which is just ideal but this just kind of does a free color rule tying in the black accessories adding that pop of color and then going for a more of a neutral tone jacket just to kind of tone it down and tie in the look spot tights autumn spot tights with loafers my dream literally my dream and this cardigan i love h&m thank goodness have brought out the cardigan again in a brown and a white i cannot find for the life of me this mustard color anymore which i'm gutted about but i am going to link the other similars down below i love this outfit like i love these cardigan knits they are so soft so comfortable i love the shape i think they're so flattering it also looks great with high knee like lace up boots chunky boots whatever kind of piece that you have in your wardrobe and then with loafers i just love I love spot tights and loafers and I feel like spot tights are again that kind of accessory that dresses up your wardrobe a little bit more and makes an outfit feel a little bit more autumnal. I'm wearing a mini skirt here as well just for reference that the H&M kind of cardigans aren't really long enough to wear as dresses. I think I just like pulled this one down a little bit but I am wearing a mini skirt and I sometimes wear my cycling shorts underneath as well but love this combo and I feel like if you're looking to invest in any kind of accessory this season spot tights are the one to go for and I'll leave some of my faves linked down below as well so another way of styling spot tights is with knit vests like I said knit vests are some of my absolute faves this season styling here with coloured shorts I feel like again those summery pops of colour shorts and skirts need to be brought into our autumn wardrobes and winter wardrobes to get like the most wear out of them and I feel like again it's a really nice way of styling those more pops of colour pieces by just dressing with your favourite neutrals so it doesn't need to be a knit vest it could be a little black tee it could be a vest top it could be a roll neck and anything like that and then again spot tights just add like a different element to a look and just make an element feel very cool and chic and the loafers and spot tights for me are just a must like kind of outfit combo and then I've kind of accessorized here with a black and gold belt and gold accessories I feel like never underestimate how a belt can bring that outfit to life a little bit more and make it feel a little bit more dressy so whether you go for more silvers and things like that I definitely recommend like layering up a little bit more if you want to kind of make an outfit feel a little bit more put together and have something that's a bit more dressy this would definitely be more of like an evening look for me or something if I had like a day out then going straight for like rooftop drinks or anything like that as well and a really nice way of bringing those like summer shorts and skirts into our autumn winter wardrobes one more way of styling the spot tights that I wanted to share with you guys doing this pink little waistcoat and blazer combo waistcoats are definitely going to be in this season and I will link this one down below and a few others that I've been eyeing up that I think are so cute I think it's a really nice way of layering up a little bit more and adding more color as well or just kind of getting more neutral waistcoats in your wardrobe that add a bit more something something to an outfit and is a really nice way of dressing with mini skirts loafers and like then that pop of color blazer or neutral blazer that you've got or jacket and for me this is kind of doing the free color rule of again doing very similar like I did with the everyday pink tee and trench coat going for those more neutral pieces like tight skirt and loafers and black bag and then going for those pops of colours with the little kind of underlayer, vest, waistcoat, knit, tee, whatever it is and then doing that layered up 
piece in this like dark khaki colour which I love, I feel like the colours really complement each other but it's just one of those great everyday outfits that is perfect for kind of going out, city break, casual meetings, anything like that as well. Then next up, I feel like this one is more current for like where we're at now with the weather. I've been wearing this a lot and this is this little back like tie 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 back dress from Zara I love this I feel like this went viral online I feel like everyone had this dress or does have this dress and I just love the details of this I think it is stunning it's like the perfect little black dress that you can dress with your loafers with little white socks little black socks you could even go for coloured socks and a coloured bag as well but you can never go wrong with a little black dress so for me this is one that I'm wearing a lot at the moment on these like warmer days that we're having and that kind of thing as well and then the next outfit is blazer styling with cycling shorts and loafers and I feel like this again for the weather that we've got at the moment when we've got those like cloudy days I've been wearing this outfit on repeat I love a tie waist belt and a blazer I feel like it really kind of brings an outfit together works really well with like a tailored kind of look and is a very very cool way of styling your blazers in your wardrobe and cycling shorts and then the loafers just add a little bit more of like a chunky everyday kind of feel to the outfit and then I just style with those black accessories so like the belt kind of ties in with the loafers and then a little shoulder bag as well and then lastly to share with you all I'm just chucking this one in at the end here and these are different loafers these are ones from ASOS but I basically went and recreated Hailey Bieber's recent outfit because she looked insane I'm obsessed with that fit she is literally a dream and I am no Hailey Bieber but I did find this blazer and like satin skirt combo from Zara and I am obsessed obsessed and I know this outfit is not everyone's cup of tea I've had many comments about this outfit over on my TikTok so I know the hate that I have got for these stockings but I personally love this outfit I wanted to chuck it in here because I'm going to link this like the pieces down below but these are some like chunky shiny loafers that are actually more comfortable than the H&M ones but they're a lot more chunky and a lot more platform so I think it really depends kind of what you prefer wearing in your wardrobe I think the H&M ones for me I love tying in those like gold details with them and I think they're more of like a classic everyday shoe that I wear a lot more than these shiny ones whereas if I'm doing like a dressed up look with loafers I've been wearing these a lot and they are really comfy and like spongy which I love but yeah just wanted to chuck that in at the end there and yeah that is it for the video I hope you guys enjoyed and I really hope in some way this works as inspiration for any loafer styling ideas in your own wardrobes and things like that I will leave everything linked down below if I can't link from like outfit 12 down I will leave the links for that in the comments and then if you can't find anything then please send me a dm on instagram I will happily just quickly send you the link the best I can and reply to as many of you as I can as well I feel like it's really annoying when you're looking for something and you can't find it so definitely send me a message if you are struggling to find something but everything will be linked down below the best I can and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed if you are enjoying my videos I would love if you would subscribe to my channel it really means a lot and you'll support me the absolute world and next week I'm trying to think what else I've got coming but quite a lot I've got my black satin skirt arrived that's coming very soon very excited for that and then I'm going to do fake leather jacket styling and then we're on to New York styling which I'm so excited about but anyway thank you guys so much for being here and watching today's video I will see you in the next one lots of love Mwah. bye